Solo tenía siete años cuando el gobierno nos enviaron a mí y a muchos otros niños al norte, a California. Apolinaria Lorenzana was among 21 orphan children sent by the Spanish colonial government of Mexico to populate the farthest reaches of its American empire. Cuando llegamos a la capital de Monterrey. El gobierno nos repartió como perritos entre los habitantes del lugar. By the time Apolinaria settled in Monterrey, the Spanish had dominated the New World for more than three centuries. Many people have this popular vision of Latinos as people who arrived day before yesterday. But when you think about the first European settlement in what would become the United States, St. Augustine in 1565, that predates Jamestown in 1607. The first European language spoken in what would become the United States, Spanish. One hundred years after Columbus's arrival in the New World, Spanish conquistadors and priests pushed into North America, crossing the Rio Grande to search for gold and spread Catholicism. In 1610, they established Santa Fe, New Mexico, brutally crushing a revolt by the Pueblo Indians. The British and the Dutch settled along the Atlantic coast in Plymouth and New Amsterdam. The French arrived at the mouth of the Mississippi in 1682, while the Russians made their way south from Alaska and well into California. Spain is very keenly aware of other empires that are roaming across what's now North America and wants to protect its northern border. So they have to send people north to build out a Spanish civilization in these places that had been the Spanish Empire on a map but hadn't really had any more durable claim to the land. Who was going to populate these far-off frontier settlements in Arizona, in Texas, and in California? It was the missionaries. It was the Franciscans, it was the Jesuits, it was the Dominicans. They all went out to found towns and settlements and establish missions. In 1808, Apolinaria Lorenzana, now in her teens, was brought to Mission San Diego the first mission founded by Spanish priests as they moved north through California. Ya cuando era mujercita, yo sola aprendí a escribir. Valiéndome de los libros, imitaba las letras en cualquier papel que lograba conseguir. Cajillas de cigarrillos. Nearing the end of her life and almost blind. Cualquier papel. Apolinaria shared her memories with Thomas Savage, an American historian, as she recalled the once flourishing world of California's Spanish missions. Built along El Camino Real from San Diego to Sonoma, three days horseback ride from one another, Spain's 21 missions were the birthplace of the great coastal cities of California. All these people who live in these towns in California, uh, Santa Cruz and, uh, and uh, San Francisco, and uh, all of these were mission towns. In the 1800s, missions were the centerpiece of Spanish colonial life. A mission is a lot of things. It's a religious community where they are hoping to Christianize the native peoples bringing them in to the system to make them sp good Spanish citizens. It's an enterprise where Indians are brought in to work out in the fields, to weave, to do blacksmith work. You think of the missions and 
you think of the, there's like one priest, and this one priest has the power to harness Native American labor, uh, to educate. But actually, priests, particularly in California, relied on local women. You had people like Apleonaria Lorenzana. The Padres trusted her to board ships to get the necessary supplies for the missions. She supervised Indian seamstresses, supervised the cooking. Yo misma me mantenía con el trabajo de mis manos. Yo bordaba bandas, chalecos. Yo cuidaba de la ropa de la iglesia. No solo de hacerla, sino de lavarla. Para lo que tenía indias lavanderas. Los indios que no cumplían con sus obligaciones eran castigados. To understand the position of natives in the mission system, you have to understand the tremendous loss of life that Indian communities in California had experienced. When the Spanish come and introduce disease, um, those, those populations go into enormous demographic decline, leaving them very vulnerable. The missions offer the opportunity for Indian communities to have bread on the table. Some Indians were taken by Catholicism and by the promise of salvation. But we know that many Indians oftentimes rebelled. Los castigos eran encierro en el calabozo o en el cepo según la falta. Si este era un poco grave, les daban azotes. Azotes. Sí. Raras veces pasaban de 25. 